Up to 67.3 billion pesos worth of COVID-19 funds were riddled with various deficiencies in the Department of Health, according to the Commission on Audit. Based on its 2020 annual audit report that was released today, the deficiencies, ranging from unused funds to incomplete documents, contributed to the challenges encountered and missed opportunities by the DOH in the country's pandemic response. The state auditor noted that it casted doubts on the regularity of transactions. These include the 11.8 million pesos of unobligated allotments aimed at strengthening the department's capacity to address the pandemic and improving the healthcare system. There were also deficiencies in purchases and lack of documentation in various contracts amounting to 5 billion pesos that were not compliant with procurement laws, rules, and regulations. According to COA, this deprived the government with the most advantageous prices, resulted in doubtful payment and delays in project completion. COVID-19 programs worth 42 billion pesos were also transferred to partner agencies without the required memorandum of agreements and supporting documents. Claims for financial aid of health workers amounting to over 4.8 million pesos were also not paid as of December 2020 due to delayed downloading of cash allocations. COA also noted the lapses in managing the interim reimbursement mechanism or IRM funds of the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation or PhilHealth. The COA has sent its recommendation to Health Secretary Francisco Duque III and directed to submit the actions taken. In a statement, Secretary Duque assures that there is no corruption involved in the use of COVID-19 funds and that the 67.3 billion pesos are all accounted for. According to Duque, the agency is currently addressing the said difficulty efficiencies. The agency noted that almost 69 billion pesos were utilized as of December 2020 for the COVID-19 response of the government. He adds they were also able to utilize the funds with the extension of the availability of funds under the Bayanihan to recover as one act of Bayanihan 2 up to June 30, 2021. The health secretary maintains that the agency has always been transparent and that they take the auditor's findings very seriously. But for Senator Francis Pangilinan, the audit report confirms what the Senate has been saying all along, noting that the incompetence and corruption in the COVID-19 response has led to the country to become the worst performer in the region. Horinin Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.